Every creative project I work on starts with a single moment. That moment for me was the day I wrote a song called Tonight. It was different than anything I'd been writing over the past few years. It sounded old, like in some way it had been written back in the 50s. For the past few years I've been struggling for musical direction and inspiration, but then I wrote this song, and from that moment I've known exactly what I was supposed to be doing. Instead of writing and forcing things to happen through a sluggish process, songs just started flowing out of me. I started doing research on artists from the 50s and 60s and trying to find current artists doing throwback style music. I felt like I did as a kid, first discovering music. I now had more than enough songs for an EP, so I grabbed my electric guitar and started making demos. I point out that it was electric because all of my demos have almost always been done on acoustic. But these songs are different. The demos came together quickly, but I knew I didn't want this project to be a follow-up solo record. It really needed a band. Had to have one. I knew exactly who I wanted to play on the record, and after a few calls, the lineup was all set and the romance was born. Here we are, we're at the um, lake house. Turned it into a studio kind of overnight, and uh, this is day one. After really thinking through the style and sound, we decided to track the rhythm section live, playing all at once instead of isolating ourselves. This way we could capture something honest, something inspired, and something that sounds more old school. We recorded the rhythm section, Brian Webb on bass, Jeff Hall on drums, Dan Walker on B3, Wurlitzer and piano, and myself on electric guitar over a single weekend at a lake house on Grand Lake. Thanks to our pals John and Clint with Under the Belfry in church studios. It was incredibly fun and by far my favorite recording experience to date. Capturing the true sound of the band made it very seamless in finishing the tracking. There's no over-editing. It's sort of a what we played is what we get approach. And when you get the right players in a room, inspired performances just happen. We tracked a horn section on all the songs, something I'd never done before. My buddy Mike Turner wrote some amazing horn arrangements that Lee Rucker on trumpet, Chris Hicks on saxophone, and Eric Leonard on trombone brought to life at the ACM at UCO Recording Lab. We finished up my vocals and also added background singers, Shonda Graham and Myra Beasley, at my good friend Eric Alexander's studio. My brother Joe helped with vocal arrangements and also sings on the record. He knows me so well and what I'm going for, but also knows how to push me creatively. We've made a handful of overdubs on the record, but now the record is nearly complete, and that's where you come in. This album has been entirely self-funded up to this point, and we're in a race to get the album mixed, mastered, CDs printed, and everything done in time for us to debut the band at the Free Tulsa Music Festival at the end of July, which is just right around the corner. And with your help, I think we can get there. Can do anything.